hold on. Marriage and kids doesn't seem like it's all that. Like, honestly, I feel happier by myself. So because it's wake-up season now, and women are realizing that. Is marriage all that? Is having kids all that? <laughs> so this lady posted a video sometimes april where she was talking about why women don't want kids why kids doesn't benefit women even though they make it look as if men are doing us a favor for making us to have children like if that makes sense right but most of the time it's women that does almost all the work why the men doesn't even most of them don't even assist their wives with anything and they always want to make it look as if you as a woman you are the one that's supposed to know everything automatically right so she made that video around i'm going to link the video in the description box we've talked about the video and we've actually there was also other stitches about the video but this is part two why she's coming out to say that most men are not letting her to rest in the comment section why she made the video and they were like why would a woman say she doesn't want to have kids don't she wants once she wants a legacy to continue those kind of words that they always say to child by choice women or even women that don't want to get married because now women are already awake to see that i'm actually happier without this man i'm actually happier without children this is just like a trap it's like you're just trapping me inside a situation that I can't get myself out if i decide to have children or if i decide to have children if i don't want to but i'm doing it just because i want to please you as a man Anyways, let me roll this clip for you all to watch to the end and I'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video. Ever since I posted the video about women not wanting to have kids because men suck and there's no systems in place to help women have kids and make their lives easier, um, the men have been going feral in every single one of my comment sections in all my videos and I was wondering why they find this viewpoint so bothersome and I realized that throughout society, throughout all of the organisms throughout time, men have always had to prove themselves to women. It didn't matter what women, they were proving themselves to all the women to pass their genes. So they cheer, they sing, they dance, they look pretty, they add colors to themselves in hopes that a woman would procreate with him. And they do it with as many women as possible. But the men that can't procreate were the ones that genetically died off because they were not good enough. But humans, humans have done things a little bit backwards. The women were the one convincing the men to marry them throughout time because society told women that as you get older, if you're not married by a certain age, your value decreases and you're not as good and men don't like you as much, this, that, and the other. But now we're in a day, an age where we have technology and we can communicate with each other and women are realizing that hold on marriage and kids doesn't seem like it's all that like honestly I feel happier by myself so now men are competing with women like with themselves and they cannot grasp their heads around the fact that they actually have to be decent human beings for someone to even want to procreate with them and it's driving them insane so when they say things like Oh, don't you want to pass on your legacy? Like, that's so selfish. Why would you not want to procreate? It's their own insecurities that they're projecting onto women in order to guilt trip them into having kids. What is your take on today's video? Do you think that women really want to have kids or they're just doing it for the sake of men? Let me roll some clips for you all to watch the end. I have two videos to share with you all, right? A stitch on this video. And the first one is a woman talking about the legacy itself, what legacy actually really means and why she feel like we women were not passing on any legacy. The only person that is passing on legacy are the men. Whereas the second video is a man also ranting. He talks so much and he talks for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Let me roll the clip for you to watch the end and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video on your legacy like that's so selfish why would you not want to procreate it's their own insecurity all right i've been waiting for this type of video to stitch because today we're talking about the legacy in women in society that's right so first of all just think about it what kind of legacy do women get to leave in society they don't get to give the kid the name the last name and more so women have to take the last name of their male partners so women's identity gets erased and even if she wants to keep her maiden name that's her father's name yeah and if she keeps her mother's maiden name that's her mother's father's name so women don't have legacies yeah and we're tired of being little baby factories for the men. In fact, I mean, really, if we think about it, like if we really want women to be engaged in this process again, make them a part of the process. 
Because women are the ones putting their lives on the line, their bodies on the line, their mental health on the line, just to come out of the pregnancy to a partner who refuses to cook or clean or help out in any meaningful way or refuses to make any doctor's appointments for his own children. And then a few months will go by and he'll be like, actually, can you take a paternity test? So I really need you guys to understand as men, legacy to you means you get to have ownership over something. You get to put your name on it. It belongs to you. It is part of your lineage. For women, we get erased. We don't even exist. We're just the fertile fields for you guys. And we're sick of it. We don't want to be contributing to a society that doesn't contribute to us. When we give everything, we give our minds, our bodies, our youth to keep this society going and we get nothing in return. So please, stop talking to us about legacy. We don't give a fuck about your legacy. In fact, I think over the next few years, as women start to take their power back in a big way, we'll see women start changing their names and just start going by different names altogether. Because, I mean, my last name is my dad's last name. Even if I keep it, it's his legacy that I'm continuing, not my own. I want to create my own legacy. So... I think a lot of women will start changing their names to whatever they choose. And it'll be fun. <laughs> Ever since I posted the video about women not wanting to have kids because men suck and there's no systems in place to help. Marry a man who you know can provide for you. And I'm not talking about myself right now at the moment because uh, I'm currently unemployed. I live in my parents' house and I'm 100 pounds overweight. But is it so shocking that, um, you know, women are attracted towards men who have confidence, who are in shape, and who are in genuine, who are genuinely wealthy. And oftentimes, even a man being wealthy will even compensate for bad looks. Is that so shocking? That, that, that since women have like done this for since the beginning of dang civilization, and it's so shocking that women's standards for men are higher than man's standard for women. Because while men, like you said, you know, like, we, like we're biologically wired to want to spread our seed. <laughs> um, and that, I don't think that's man's fallen nature either. Um, and I, because I don't think that polygamy is a sin um, uh, because... Almost all of the male patriarchs of the Old Testament had multiple wives, and God explicitly gave multiple wives to David, and said when David sinned that if it wasn't enough, I would have given you more. But is it so shocking that, like on TikTok, I see all the time, and if you if you watch TikTok as much as I do, um, then even if we have different for you pages, you're gonna see videos of men complaining about how on dating apps. The only top 20% of men are being swiped right, while 80% of women are being swiped right. Um, and is that so in shocking? Because, you know, women are the ones getting pregnant and who, on a biblical standard, are always supposed to have one husband. And so is it so strange that women are biologically wired to have more standards than men since men throughout all of history have uh, when gaining enough power and wealth and influence or just simply how you have good charisma or you're better good looking or whatever the case is have had multiple wives or and even oh which is another thing People say that polygamy is oppressive towards women, um, but, uh, and that you know men only want that because they you know they, that you know they can uh, have more than one wife, um, and so it's more of a selfish thing. However, um, if we did live in a polygamous society, 
then the it would the majority of men would go unmarried. And see, that is a problem that you see in the past several hundred years. I'm not talking about just this generation or the last generation. This is something that has going, been going on for hundreds of years. Um, the idea of holy matrimony, which was established by the Catholic Church, and bef uh, um, and w even when Protestants separated from the Catholic Church, they took this whole idea of holy matrimony with them and monogamy. And basically, it derives from the, the idea that, oh, well, you know, um, you know, how would you feel if your wife had, uh, you know, was interested in another husband? And, you know, because, you know, you wouldn't think that she's being faithful to you. So then why would you think that you're being faithful to her by loving another woman? And see, if you take the Taoist interpretation, and yes, I say Taoist, it is a demonic heresy, which in the Bible, it says that in the end days, there will be doctrines of devils forbidding marriage, forbidding marriage, not supporting gay marriage people interpret that as oh see it all you know it's all the gays and blah 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 blah. it had nothing to do with the gays it um it, um it had to do with forbidding marriage and it has this heresy has deceived even the very elect people that are on their way to heaven are deceived in this um and it will be revealed to everyone which by the way if you the, the the truth that you need to know is the gospel of jesus christ if you don't know that truth then no other truth matters None of us are right on every single topic, but I do think that this is a huge, it's huge heresy, particularly in, actually not just Western society, because also United East. And the reason why I'm kind of excited right now in this video is because I hardly ever talk about this, other than my mom and my dad, who I talk about the, uh, this both with. And obviously the re there's a good reason for it, because, um, uh, you know, going about talking about this will dang, you know, every single person, even people bang in the church, We'll give you a dang two horns and a pitchfork for saying such a, such a thing. But you talked about how there's nothing in place for uh, to protect women and to you know provide for them. You know once they give birth, like you know there's no benefit, like there's nothing, no systems in place. Uh, you know to make things easier on them. And girl, there is. It's marrying a man who can provide you such things. And, oh, if it's a man a few years older than you, guess that doesn't make him a pedophile. You're in your 20s. And why do I bring that up? Because I, I, I see all the time on TikTok of, oh, this 40-year-old man's attracted to this 20-year-old woman. He must be a pedophile. He's a predator. I'm going to put this as bluntly as possible. All right. 20 years from now, I'm still going to have the same dick. <laughs> I don't mean to be, I mean, I, I, I mean that in the most non-perverted way, and, like, um, is it so shocking that men lo uh, that are, are more attracted to women with smoother faces and less stress marks, um, and ha have less signs of aging? Is that so incredibly shocking? But here's the thing is, you know, I keep on hearing, uh, you know, women being told to lower their standards, lower their standards, lower their standards. And for generations, women have been told to lower their standards. Why? Because, um, because there's only a small percentage of good looking, successful, ambitious, charismatic, sexually attractive men who are out there. And so women for generations have been told to just settle because that man is likely already taken. Women are then now then put in a system in which they have to settle for a man that they aren't absolutely infatuated with. And it, no woman deserves to be with a man who doesn't make them head you know, like... Like, I don't know, what do you describe, like, you know, like, when, you know, like, oh, like, head over heels, like, you're, like, you are, like, like, that is the man, right? Like, that is, you're, like, you go, <gasps> if he doesn't make you feel that way, then don't marry him. However, majority of women are forced to marry men who don't ha make them feel that way, who have never made them feel that way. And the men that do make them feel that way are already married and because they can't marry a second wife, um, then, you know, that's the case. But all throughout history, the men who do make women feel that way, women would flock to and they would have multiple wives. 
which is a consensual thing. Again, the whole appointed marriages thing that the Mormons practice was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Women are thinking people um, who have high standards. Why? Oh, maybe it's because they're the ones carrying a baby and we're not. They carry a baby for nine months. And then they give birth to that baby, which all throughout history, um, you know, like that is like literally like a risk to their life. So you pretty I'm pretty sure that the women throughout all of history would have damn high standards compared to men's standard towards women. And any man who has had more than one wife, if he neglects the needs of even one of his wives, he literally causes her to commit adultery. That's and that which is equal to the sin of adultery. All right, he's actually he actually has the greater sin than her because he neglected her, and uh, and so if you can't give the attention and uh, and necessities and love and just everything to more than one woman you shouldn't have more than one woman as your wife is what i'm saying so incredibly crazy because and it's funny because the only passages in the bible that defend monogamy is a passage that says that leaders of the church ordained ministers should only have one wife particularly bishops I mean, the 12 tribes of Israel literally proceeded forth out of the wombs of multiple women with the seed of one man, that being Joseph. Were they on illegitimate marriages? Or what about Samson's father, who was considered a righteous man who had two wives and loved them both? At a point, he was ranting. At a point, he was making sense. At a point, he was saying what I don't even understand. <laughs> Okay, well, it's okay for you to write the internet. Anyway, what's your take on today's video? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you agree with this women that made this video talking about that women don't really want kids? And when you look at it, you will see that men are the ones that benefit out of this children thing more, just like marriage as well. I'm not saying women don't benefit because there's some women that are coming out to say that marriage is an achievement to them. So I know that most of them also come and say having kids is what define them as a woman or so many women come out to talk like that but then there's some women that do not want it right they do not want this thing but they are doing it for the society's sake they're doing it because they just feel like they are supposed to do it even though they've not thought about if they really want to do it and there's some women that are coming out to say they don't want to do it but people are coming for them and saying why will you say you don't want to do it are you normal so those are the ones i'm talking about right i'm not talking about the ones that actually want it and the ones that are, f are fulfilled doing it right if that is what you want and you're happy with it good for you but there's some people that don't want it and or they don't know that they don't want it and when they are now into it they are now realize that ah this thing i don't actually really want it and they are unhappy in it right and it's really making them so sad i personally feel like these men are the ones that really want these things and when they are trying to make women feel bad for not being in a relationship or for not having children they actually are afraid for themselves because they are the ones that are afraid of being lonely <laughs> there was a video we talked about that the woman was saying that women are not lonely women are lonely by choice but men are not lonely by choice they cannot be alone by choice because they are just alone because probably there's no woman that wants to be with them right at that moment but women we have so many suitors you can if, if you want to be in a relationship right now as a woman you can be in a relationship you just choose to be single and be happy because you have preference i just feel like women should you know just know that these things are not all that rosy and if you don't want it it is fine you are normal you're okay if you want to be single and happy it's a normal thing you can do it and don't let anybody make you feel bad for choosing that kind of life because most women want those kind of life but they, they, they don't have it right they cannot have it because once you already have a child or yeah once you already have a child you cannot unhave that child you already have it so <laughs> is it that your you have it or you don't and the moment you've decided that you don't want to have it it's fine it's beautiful 
most of the time women those women don't have those choices to make because it's now that people are coming out and women are now waking up to see that you're happier single you're more successful single you're striving single than being stuck in a relationship in fact people are even coming out people that are in an unhappy relationship are coming out to tell you that that there's even a sickness that you can have when you are not happy in your relationship. Some are coming out to say if you are suffering from some particular illness and you keep using drugs, you use medication, nothing is not working. The moment you leave that relationship, you find out that that sickness is gone. And I'm like, that's a new thing. Like, I've not heard that before. <laughs> People are coming out to really, you know, open women's eyes to make them see that it is not all of that, right? It is not, I'm not saying people are not happy in their relationship or people should not get married or have children but it's not all that right it's not it is not the goal for you to be happy that is not the main thing for you if that is what you want fine you can go for it but if that is not what you want or you don't even know what you want at a point focus on yourself and be happy first know who you are first know what you want first before you decide to allow another person to control your life for you what is your take on today's video can you put your thoughts in the comment section respectfully and thank you all so much for tuning in today's video don't forget to like and share and subscribe please turn on the post notification bell to get notified once i upload another interesting video like this one and of course i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>